people and welcome this time i've decided to try choi sora's diet she's a famous korean fashion model and i will be eating like her for the next three days in one of the reality tv shows Choi Sora admitted that she had to lose weight for that work for Louis Vuitton. She hasn't been eating anything at all for two weeks during fashion week. She only drank water and when she was really, really struggling, she could have a half of banana, which is really terrible. And of course, we're not going to do that. Even Sora admitted that she regrets doing that. Later on, in one of her interviews, she confessed, my body was a mess, but they told me I looked pretty. I thought, how can a person look like this? I passed out more than 10 times a day and it felt like someone was scratching me with sandpaper whenever someone touched me. I became so sensitive and every part of my joint hurt. So what am I going to do? Since there is no exact information about her diet, I'm going to compose the healthy meals based on what Sora loves to eat. and what she was having, what she was mentioning in the interviews, in the videos and etc. I just will check all of the info I can find and we will try her diet this way. And yeah, I'm really excited. We will recreate her meals and I think it should be fun. So let's finally start. Wish me luck. <laughs> Oops. Hi guys, so this is actually the day before the challenge and I'm going to the supermarket to prepare everything and get ready to have some food that I need for tomorrow. to get my favorite unsweetened almond milk. morning friends when Sora was in New York she was having almonds as a snack in the morning and she had them along with the milk good morning I don't drink dairy so I'm going to substitute it with almond milk <laughs> I will have everything almonds in the morning today but I think it will work I'm going to warm it up because I don't want to drink something cold it's not that hot, not summer already, so yeah. So here's my breakfast. We have warm almond milk and almonds. I've soaked them overnight in water for better digestion and after that you can quite easily peel them off their skin and they're even more delicious like this okay let's sit cheers I'm not sure if I could have such breakfast on a daily basis, but right now I can tell it's really good. Sora loves baked sweet potatoes and I have these two tiny leftover sweet potatoes. And I think I'll have them along with the steamed wedges or roasted wedges, something like this. 20 minutes. And here I also have leftover carrot, white cabbage and broccoli, going to chop it all and steam or roast. Here I have 
on the keyboard. So here's today's lunch. It's already quite late, so it's a little bit dark. I have baked sweet potatoes, steamed veggies, and maybe I will add some soy sauce to my veggies as well. Yay! And since Sara loves traditional Korean food, you can clearly see it from one of her Instagram videos, I've decided to buy this lunchbox from local supermarket and have it for dinner. Good morning, friends! It's the second day of me trying Choi Sora's diet and I woke up with the feeling that I really, really, really don't want to have almonds and milk for breakfast. So I found this picture on her Instagram showing these two meals. I don't know if she had both of them or only one, but based on the angle I can assume that she had the pancakes, so I've decided to make myself some healthy pancakes with what I have in the fridge. I have some leftover frozen bananas and we'll just improvise. <laughs> so let's make the pancakes. First mashing banana, add in the egg. Sweetener, which is optional. Lots of cinnamon because we love it. A little bit of water. And I'm going to use mungin flour and psyllium husk for extra fiber. And baking powder. Consistency is like this, quite thick. Now let's make pancakes. So here are our beautiful pancakes. To be honest, they burnt a little bit, but I hope they will still taste good. And I'm going to have them along with an herbal tea. In one of the videos, I've seen Sorrel snacking on buckwheat crackers. I don't have the buckwheat ones, but I have these rice crackers at home already, so I think it can be a nice substitute and I'm going to snack on these crackers. I love them by the way and really recommend them to you. So I have some leftover nori and half of avo. <laughs> Sorry, it looks terrible, but it's still super delicious. And some leftover veggies. So I'm thinking about making a kimbap for lunch. Yeah, I think it will be nice. So here are my rolls and I'm going to have them with the soy sauce. Here I have the rice, avocado and carrots. Basically what was in my fridge. For dinner I'm having glass noodles with veggies and soy sauce. It's inspired by chapche that Sora was eating while visiting her family. Good morning friends. Today for breakfast I'm having the almonds again. I've soaked them overnight in water, as usual, and I'm going to warm up the almond milk. Snacking on the crackers again. And for lunch I've decided to have baked sweet potatoes again and cherry tomatoes. It was a really simple meal, but absolutely delicious. 
Hey guys, so I was really craving something sweet and then I saw this talk with red beans, this with red beans. It was on sale and I decided to buy it. I got myself talk with red beans. I remember I saw one of the interviews of so uh, and she was saying that she loves red beans. Everything with red beans, so I think it will work for me. It will be my dinner slash snack. Okay, can't wait to try it with a little tea or something like that. So here's a talk that I got. It topped with the red beans and I probably will have more than these two pieces with the tea. Just wanted to put it on the plate to make it look more beautiful. again friends so what can i say after trying this diet first of all i don't think calling it a diet is the right thing to do because it was mostly an experiment just for fun weight loss wasn't my goal at all and it was definitely fun and sometimes it was challenging in general i think such experiments are nice because it's an opportunity to try new things, try new foods, getting out of your comfort zone. I don't think I would have tried some of these foods if it wasn't for this diet, for this challenge. So yeah, I felt really nice eating what I was eating, but on the third day I was really craving something sweet because I love eating fruits and berries and I was missing it. But yeah, it was fun and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what would you like to see next, maybe which diet I should try next. And see you next time. Bye.